Hello everybody and welcome here for this fun, fun event we have. It is duel number one. Yeah, duel number one. I believe it's um going to be called Gatorade duel number one. So it's the Gatorade duels again. I believe that's the sponsor. Could be completely wrong. But that's what it is. Anyways, simple, simple, simple. 32 laps. 24 drivers in this one. 23. The highest... This one has more drivers. The highest three drivers from this one or three uncharted cars in this one will advance to the main show. The highest two in the next one will. So three people will go home in this race to four people next race. So seven people going home in total. William Brock is starting on pole. Right next to him will be the 41 of Mr. John Gilbert. John Andrews third and he that is where he would love to be where he would love to finish because then he would pretty much lock himself in the 500 that's the only way for these drivers Nick Smith then we have Christian Mizdrak and the 22 of Alexander Rowe all six of these drivers trying to make it into the Daytona 500 starting in the top six because part-timers were starting in front your pole sitter Mr. Joshua Jones next to him will be rookie Dylan of the Dylan Young the 23 is Scott Roush, the 38 of Jay Day, JT Bryant, Dion Scott, Zachary Fitzwater, and Michael Harvey, Tyler Markle. The 60 of another rookie, that's Zeus Morrow, Mike Tolan, Hair Joe, Bobby, a group of really veteran people. Then the 2 of Eric Hyden, Dejon Weeks, Colin Lindsay starting behind Eric Hyden. Then we go to the 57 of Matt Tuck and Matthew Johnson rounding out the field. Yeah, our pace cars are beautiful here in uh, the GCS this year. So let's go ahead and get the command. Drivers, start your engines. Hopefully y'all could hear it. I could hear it. I hear the engines. They're starting up. Green flag for 32 laps for duel number one. We'll be here in a minute. So we come back. They're coming down the back stretch as you can see. Um, main parts of this race. If there's a wreck, I think we only need one pit stop. Maybe not even a pit stop in this race. Um, if there's a wreck, you can go to your backup if you're chartered. If you're uncharted, hopefully the other one's uh, gotten involved and you finish ahead of three of them. In this first race, you got to finish ahead of three of them because uh, it is the top three in this race, top two in next race. Now, to, um, now Joshua, if he does wreck, he'll go to the back of the line in the 500, even though he is the pole sitter. He's the official pole sitter. That cannot be taken away, but he will have to go to a backup car, resulting into the back of the line. Um, yeah. And I believe we might see some action. We know we know if one's calm, one's going to be wild. And every driver in their car right now is saying, this is our primary. We don't want to wreck it. We want the other one to be wild. So let's go ahead. Let's get racing. William Brock leads them to green. Who's going to make it in the 500? Great run, but off turn four. He's going to actually block Christian Mizdrak. Now he's going to go to the outside. William Brock leads lap one. Him and Christian and Mr. John Gilbert are the ones that are safe right now. But now we got battle for the lead. JT Bryant with a alliance teammate. They're not teammate teammates, but they do share parts, AS Racing and CJ Racing. That's Zachary Fitchwater. And here comes Michael Harvey, the most recent owner champion. As Mike Tolan picked up the championship, but that uh, Michael Harvey is the Mike Tolan won the championship. Michael Harvey is the owner for that team last season. So you see, pretty much almost every uncharted car is on the outside lane working together. Alexander Rowe in the 22 has fallen all the way to the back. It looks like trying to maybe play it safe, 
We'll see what he does. I think he's just trying to learn here. He is a rookie, so we'll see exactly what he does. But Michael Harvey looks to be the class of the field. He's got a big lead, and big leads aren't always good here at Daytona. We saw the clash. We didn't really see any action in the clash with the seven, 18 drivers we had. 16, 17. I think we had 17. Here comes JT Bryant for the lead. But we did see Bobby win it. Bobby's using the same car he won in the clash actually here for Speed Weeks. He didn't damage it. They said, let's just use the same car. And he, there he is, fourth of line, coming to the front already. You got Hair Joe who's in the back. Here's Zeus Moro, another rookie who's chartered this season with GMS Racing. Excited to see what he does. This is a whole new team they brought. So we'll see how that works out. I think it's a whole new team. No, we had a 60 car last year. 36 is the new team, which will be in duel number two. That's James Richardson. James, though, is a returning driver. And now JT with a huge push. He's now going to move him. William Brock moves Christian Mizdrak, and we got movement all over. William Brock trying to get something in the middle lane, but I don't know if he'll get something. JT Bryant out front now. And JT Bryant's going to lead a lap here. Now remember, where the winner of this race is going to get to start third. This is the inside race. These are the most important positions because the inside always seems to do a, just a wee bit better here. You see John Gilbert trying to run his own lane. Now he'll cut to the middle. Always runs just a little bit better um, through the corners. And you seem like you can always get a run on the inside. So this, this is the main race. These are where these drivers want to be. And now they will have the chance to go for the inside lane. And starting third compared to starting 40th, completely different. And now you see Dejan, he's going to go up, almost got stuck. And you see Alexander Rowe starting to lose the draft a little bit. Not sure if that's intentional, but he can't lose it too much. He'll have to hope for a caution if he starts losing it too much. Which is not what these drivers up here would like to do. They do not want to wreck, so that's going to be interesting. See Alexander Rowe, maybe he'll catch back up as Matthew Johnson's worked his way to the front. He's got Deion Scott and last year's champion Mike Tolan's on the inside. You see him coming, getting a huge push from the two of Eric Hyden. And now we're three wide for the race lead through three and four. Here comes Deion on the inside. Smart move back here. Oh, no, I was wrong. There's the five. Your pole sitter, Joshua Jones. He's on the inside just chilling. Lots of movement at the front. Dion trying to block all three lanes. He'll block Mike Tolan. Mike knows how to win at Daytona. He won the 500 last season. Going on to win the championship as well. So we'll see what happens there. You see Matthew Johnson on the outside. Mike's going to get a huge push by the 26 car it looks like. 28 is going to get a huge run. Here goes Matthew Johnson for the lead. Sorry if it froze. Matthew Johnson to the lead. JT trying to cut down. Trying to make... Yeah, he will. Can he get in front of the two now? He's got a huge run. Could he go from the top to the bottom? That would be fantastic. Look at him. He's going to the inside. Can he block the two? He will. JT back to the inside. That is where JT would love to be. What a great race. And by that, we normally don't see. When you get to the outside lane, you fall to the back and work your way back to the front. He's going to be putting pressure now on the 28. Here comes the 24. JT Bryant to the race lead. He's got no help. There is no help for these front two cars. They're kind of all alone out here. Now they're closing. And I need to sneeze one second, please. JT now stuck in the middle, as you can see. And we got something going on back here. Double zero and 12. The 22 is right there. He's doing a fantastic job not losing the draft. Deion Scott. Matthew Johnson on the line. That was Deion Scott to lead a lap. Laps don't really mean much here in this race. You see Bobby in the back. He is being very aggressive. Trying to make a lane there between two cars. I know those cars really don't want Bobby coming in between them. Why? They're both unchartered trying to make this race. Now here's the 23. Interesting situation with him. Scott Roush is actually giving his charter to his owner, William Brock, after this race. So the char charter was only for the 500. 
because Williams said he thought he had a good enough car to make it. So the 23 will actually be giving up his um, charter back to William Brock, and the 23 will actually be running for points full-time in the OSA series, OSA or truck series. He is not going to be running for points in this series. He'll be running for it in a different one of the different Zoto Racer League uh, series. As you see now, Hair Gel is giving a huge push to the 28. This 37 knows how to win. First ever Daytona 500 champion here on the channel. Sorry. Trying to get better with the camera angles this season. You see Dion's going to have a huge run. Block the three. And now it will be a three car. That's two Chevys and a Ford. Ford out front, two Chevys. And Matthew Johnson's teammate, um, the only other, the new Ford of J-Day, it was an option. Most drivers just wanted the regular Ford grill. J-Day wanted that one, and the team said, all right, you can have it. And they have the newer one that was like the old cars that we had here in the series. But now, I don't know. J-Day thought it would just help him more. He wanted that kind of body. No, um, really nothing much different. Just different type of chassis they have to make. Look at the three trying to split the middle there. I don't think he'll be able to. Here comes the 43 of Nick Smith. This guy has probably got a lot of t unhidden talent. I signed him in free agency, and we'll see how he does. And you see the 22 still back there, not quite caught up to them. And he's out. He's actually second. Matthew Johnson's out front. I believe Matthew won his um, duel last season. I'm not 100% sure on who won them, but I'm pretty sure he did. So maybe trying to go two in a row for him. That would be incredible, but I think the 81's got a different plan. Here comes Dion. The 28's going to cut him off. Not quite halfway. Halfway is going to be at the end of lap 16, so almost halfway. And duel number one, kind of calm. We'll see what it's like in the 500. I believe the 500, when we get 40 full pack racing, it's going to be exciting there. See, Alexander Rowe has now really lost the draft. We'll see how, if he can catch back up. But you see Deion Scott now going on the inside of the 28 car. I need to sneeze. Sorry about that, guys. I don't really have a cold, but sometimes I just need to really sneeze, and I don't want to do it on camera or on the microphone. And you see the 41 game put. Are we about to go four wide with three wide at the front? The 41's trying to stick his nose in there. I don't think he can get in there. Nick Smith, there. Oh, look at the five. He's going to move lanes middle back to the bottom, and I think it's settled out for now. All right, we're back. Sorry. And now you see the 23 going to the race lead. Now Scott Roush. I'm sorry. My nose is really runny right now. I'll blow it before duel number two. And you see William Brock on the inside here. Um, update on the uncharted cards. It looks like we have the 26 would be in if that was the last stop. The 43 and 76 would be in. 22 who has completely lost the pack now. He has really lost it. 22 would be out. Are we four wide? Almost for oh there it goes to 60. Dejon turns to 60 back into the track and they take out the 41. The 24 is in it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Alexander Rowe into the 89. That's gonna end his day. He was in the back trying to avoid trouble, and trouble found him. Zeus Moro gets turned by Dejon Weeks, a rookie racing with a Pretty much a veteran from season one. They'll make contact. The 23 is all alone. He's got his teammate behind him. But I think the 81 is going to beat him to the line here. Deion Scott's the leader right at halfway. Right under halfway. And big wreck here in duel number one. There are some cars that are going to have to go to a backup. And the 22 of Alexander Rowe, his hopes of making the 500 is done. John Gilbert, his car is destroyed. 
I believe the other open cars made it through. We're going to go check out the wreck. We'll be right back. So it looks like Zeus Moro just tries to cut down in front of the 21 early. We'll go on board of De Dejan. Full speed real quick. On board of Dejan, the 60 just tries to cut down. Can't cut down. Cut, and then back up into the track. 21 gets some damage. So we have the 60, it looks like. He'll come up the track, collect the 41, the 89, and the 24. That'll be the main people who get involved. You see the double zero of Tyler Merkel get out of line. Did he make contact with Dylan Young? It's like Dylan's just, oh no, he did not. Oh, Matt, Matt Tuck was in it, another rookie. We did not see that. We'll go on board with Matt Tuck. I think he'll have a pretty cool angle. Oops, sorry about that. Go on board with Matt. Matt Tuck, see his angle. He's up high. You can't even see it. You can't even see it. And there, you see the 60 go down. Right up the track. There's nowhere to go. Right into the 89 of Michael Harvey. And then the hit I know y'all want to see. Alexander Roach. Staying low, staying low. Stay 89 comes down right up there. Huge hit up and over in his first ever rate. He will not make the 500. His car is destroyed. Up and over. We have to go on board with this. We'll have to see this hit. Um, you got to be. Look, you can tell the 89 still at the top of the track. Still at the top of the track. Still at the top. And he just comes down. And 89 hits that apron. Comes up. Loses the camera because he is flipping. And the two hardest hits. Michael Harvey as well. See Michael Harvey he slides down the 22 out of nowhere. 89 gets all four wheels. Does not go over, thankfully. And so we are under caution. About a six, seven car wreck here in duel number one. We are back and we have pit stops in the back. No doubt. Dejon Weeks, 41 of John Gilbert, more than likely won't make the race. Zeus Morrow, 24 and 57, all down pit road. So about seven cars involved, it looks like. 22 and 89 with the worst damage. We'll be back with the one to go and updates on the other drivers. And the 41 is going to retire. With him, JT Bryant retires the 60, the 57, 22, and 89. Big names there are the 22 and 41. They will not make the race. They are out of contention. That leaves the 26, the 43, the 40, the 76, and one other... Oh, I know, I know who it is. 76, 26, 43. Only two retired. The two, 22 and 41. Who is the other open car? Other open car is actually the double zero Tyler Markle, I believe. Or is it John Andrews? I think... John Andrews is open. That's what it, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I'm so sorry. Brain fart. All right. Yeah. So left with 18 drivers. The 21 did stay on track. Not sure if I'll have to go to a backup. We'll get update on that. Hopefully, we'll get an update. Those other ones definitely have to. Deion Scott's out front. John Andrews trying to race his way into the race as well. He's back there. Um, he is actually the highest now. Or William Brock, John Andrews, and then Christian Mizrak would be the one. No, no. Oh, Nick Smith. John Andrews and William Brock would be the ones racing in the 500 now. We're getting ready to go green. They're trying to jump the 82 on the restart. Here comes the 23. That's a rookie, Scott Roush. He's going to jump to the inside. He will. Matthew goes with him. Matthew goes even lower. Three wide. 26 pulls out. He knows he has to finish in front of them. This is the race right here. The 82 is falling back. The 43 is now going to be falling back. 26 on the inside. He's got Colin Lindsay. And we'll see how slow the 21 is. 21, uh, he didn't get too much damage. More side and back damage. Not sure how that will be with his arrow. We'll see how that is. Matthew Johnson, pretty much a strong car all race long. You see William Brock on the inside now. William trying to make this race. Christian Mizdrak now is coming into play in the 76 machine trying to make the race. Yeah, you see Dejan, he's falling back. We'll have to get an update if he goes to backup or not. 82 cuts down, excuse me, in front of the 46, that could have been big right there. 
And Scott Roush is out front. Scott seems to have a very strong car. I think Williams falling back. Not sure how Williams thinking about that. Williams said he'll give Scott the uh, charter so because he thought he could make it. He's he's still in contention. Don't get me wrong. But Nick Smith's on this middle lane. I'm not sure how that's going to work for him. And Dejan's definitely falling way back. We got some Stranglers back here, the 2, the 12, and the double zero. I think they're just trying to make it to the end. That's um, Dylan Young in the 12, a rookie, and he's got a push from the double zero car. I think they're just trying to make it to the end. Don't want to really be involved in anything. Colin Lindsay behind the rookie. You have to know Colin's going to jump to his inside any second. Get a huge run. Colin, such a good driver here. We'll see what happens. And he'll not move yet. Nick Smith trying to get to the inside. He cannot fall behind the 37. And the 3 still not moving. But here comes the 76. He's going to have to block the 76. And now we are a 3 car pull away in the front. We're coming to 10 laps to go here. 26 jumping to the bottom. That's what he needs to do if he's going to try to make this race. You see Dylan Young now. 76 is going to move the 3 out the way. I think the 3 was trying to help the rookie. Maybe use him up to the last lap, but the 76 said no. I got my own agenda. I'm going to the front, but now he's going to have no one behind. Oh, 37 is going to fall in right there as soon as I say he's got no one behind him. 28 back to the inside. Here comes Mr. Matthew Johnson, one of the best on restricted plates. Has not won the 500. I don't think he's ever won a point paying race, but really good on these uh, restrictor type tracks. And now with three wide hair drills in the middle all by himself. His teammate Matt Tuck retired. I didn't think I went through. Zeus Moore will be in the 500. Matt Tuck will be in the 500. Michael Harvey as well as JT Bryant all will be in the 500 even though they wrecked out. They will just, um, they'll have to go to a backup car and pretty much where they finish is where they'll start since they're already like finishing the back if that makes sense. And huge push by the 76 of Christian Mizdrak. Scott Roush Christian way out front. We got movement all over the racetrack. They know it's getting time. Who is it going to be that makes the 500? Right now it would be Christian Mizdrak. Then William Brock. And then the fight's right there. John Andrews and Nick Smith. Oh, Zachary joined this group up here. Zachary Fitzwater's never visited Victory Lane. He would love to. I know he would. A heartbreaker at Old Spice. Get pass on the last lap by Jesse Turner. Was up front all day. Not not leading all day, but he was in the front all day. So we got movement going on. Who's it going to be? 76 now on the outside. He'll start falling back. The 43 needs to get to the inside. John Andrews actually going to go up and help the 43. Give him a little push. John Andrews, though, he is a vet of this series. The 43 is new. I think... He might have just messed the 43 up more than anything. Give him a push. And now the 43 can get low if he wants to. And here he comes. He'll get to the inside. 76 still out front. He is the highest running. William Brock's right there. It's William, Nick, and the 76 of Christian. They are in. This 82 is trying to get in. Right there in the 82. Is he going to get in? He's on the inside. He's now behind Nick Smith. That puts the 26 in the middle and the 76 is on the outside in the front 82 43 working together there's a four teammates not not teammates but four teammates they are working together maybe helping one another to try to advance into the 500 now you see the five jump to the outside he just has to finish this race not go to a backup and he'll be on the pole which he is doing right now but we still are coming to six to go here matthew johnson's out front or Matthew John, now he's going to go out front, but Scott Roush is out front. Scott is, has a very, very strong car. Here comes his teammate, the 26, who's got Nick Smith pushing. Nick Smith in the 43 trying to make the 500. Christian Mistrax on the outside trying to make the 500. And then Matt John Andrews in the newer McDonald's scheme on the inside behind, beside Bobby Frazier in the back. Will we run into Dejon Weeks? He is currently just now getting to the start. I don't think we'll run into him. But he is just trying to finish. Uh, maybe they'll be able to repair his car. I'm not 100% sure. We will know though. So.
No one is able to pass this 23. You saw the 28 get right next to him and he couldn't get anything. And the 82 starting to fall back. Could that be something with this 82 of John Andrews who is not chartered? Double zero is chartered. Maybe he's trying to fall to his teammate, get help from his teammate. Now Christian Mistrack, he's got the 28, 28 to the inside. And I know William Brock is back here just to smiling. I know he, he's the highest running uncharted car. Second highest running uncharted car. So he knows he's doing all right. But he likes who he signed because he is out front. Four laps to go now here at Daytona. Nick Smith on the inside. He is now behind the 76, and the 28 is up the second. Can the 28 get around Scott Roush? Scott has not let anyone around him. There's Dejon. We see Dejon. Will will we run into him? I'm not sure. Okay, there goes Matthew Matthew Johnson. He's got no one behind him. The 23 is going to have the 76. I don't think the 28 is going to be able to make a move. He's going to be on his inside through the corner. 76 is right there on the 23, though. The 28 is going to have to have a great run here. He, he doesn't have help. Nick Smith can't get to his back bumper. Now the 28 is going to go up. Maybe try to do just a little side draft. Side drafting. 23 at the line once again. 28 is going to have a better push now into one. Let's see what happens here. He'll jump to the middle, to the inside. Now the 23 doesn't really have help. He's got his teammate behind him. His teammate and owner. And the 82 is way in the back. I don't think he'll be. I don't know. Now Nick Smith is, we're not three wide, are we? No, oh, we're almost three wide. Nick Smith on the inside, uncharted car, trying to win the race as well as make the 500. And now the 23 is going to have, be clear. no, he's not clear, but we're three wide for the race lead. Nick Smith, we're coming to two to go. Deion Scott is on the inside, and look who it is, Bobby Frazier at the end. 76, second car on the in, on the outside. The 26 is second car in the middle. Nick Smith is your leader. Those are the three uncharted. And there you see the 82 of John Andrews a little further back. He is in the very back. Where's Dion? D John? He is coming off a of turn two. We're coming off a of turn two. We might catch Dejon. Dejon, though, knowing him, he might drop down. He might not. We'll see if we do have to catch him. Look at the outside. Just such a better run. You see the 82 just can't get nothing. He's got to hope something goes wrong with these top three. The 28 is going to clear Nick Smith now. And it is Fords on the inside. We got uh, two groups. We got two Fords working together. And we're coming to the white flag. Here we go. There's Dejon on the line. The leaders. Scott Roush trying to clear the 28. White flag for Scott Roush. Can Scott get his first checkered flag in the Gillette Cup Series? He's going to have a huge push now. He'll clear Matthew Johnson. Christian Mizdrak. Nick Smith. And William Brock looking to advance into the 500. John Andrews is on the outside looking in. The 28, the 43 is trying to help the 28. The 28 has got to have a run. But we know the outside is just so much more powerful on that backstretch. 23 is going to block the 28. There's Dion, or Dejon. Dejon is going to be on the inside. That's going to block the 43. The 23 gets around him, no problem. The 43, now the 20. 21 goes to the outside, no pressure. Scott Roush is going to win duel number one. No pressure, Scott Roush wins it. Matthew Johnson, the 43 makes it. Into the 500, I believe the 76, and I believe the 26. Where was the 26? I cannot see him. 26 was right behind him. Did John Andrews finish in front of him, though? And we know Dejon will finish last. John Andrews. William Brock finished 7th. So it is Nick Smith. Christian Mizdrak and William Brock advancing in duel number one. Um, John Andrews eliminated as well as John Gilbert and Alexander Rowe. But congratulations to Scott Roush. Man, those Toyotas are fast. William Brock and Scott Roush, both excellent race here today. Scott Roush will pick up the duel number one victory. We got duel number two coming around. There's the final result. So this will go third, third, fifth, seventh, ninth. Um, odd numbers until you get to Joshua who really goes up to first so yeah alright so thank you guys for watching duel number two right here 
Scott Roush with the win. A rookie wins duel number one. Hello everybody, welcome here. Duel number two under the lights. We just saw duel number one. Where Scott Roush picked up his first ever checkered flag. A rookie won duel number one. Yeah. Crazy, ain't it? Alright, we're coming here. Chester Harvey on pole. Next to Mr. Daniel Olsen. Then we're going back to the 08 car of Cody Smart. The 4 is Lucas Tran. 95 of Travis Miller. And the 36 of James Richardson. That is your top 6. Two of them make it in to the race. We saw three in the other one. So two make it in. Uh, the full lineup for the 500 will be after this race. Then we got the drivers who are just racing. We got the seven. Daniel Maxwell, that is a champion from season two. Mr. Griffin Lynn in the 14. Mr. Chase Marks in the six, making his first ever start. Ain Shepard, a now chartered Red Bull car. Chris Dodd, we know him. Keith Badson, of course we know him. This boy, John Arndt, we know him. Emmanuel Hartnett, once again back behind the wheel. Johnny Gardner making his second season. Garrett Sidnor, we know him. Three, this is his third season. Kat Tellier making her third season after one win last season, being her one and only one in the series. We have the 20 of Zenic Price on a new team. Owns this team now. Here's the 25 of Philip Goldberg making his return. We'll see how he does. Has not raced since season two. Jesse Turner knows how to win at Daytona. It's season two Daytona 500 champion. Ferdinand Guy Bott making his last ever dual race. Next to the 10 of Jack Porkins who's charted this year. And then Mr. Alex Miller starting in the very back. Let's go ahead and get the command to start our engines. There's the command. Hopefully we heard it. The cars will be rolling off 32 laps just like the first one. We saw a flip in the first one. Will we see a flip this one? I don't know. We'll find out as we come back. Down the back stretch they come. Chester Harvey going to lead us to the green. Chester does not have a pole. Michael Harvey has a pole for this team this year. So only two of these top six drivers will make it in. All of them with sponsors. Big teams here. We got GMS Racing. Um, DW Racing as well as AS Racing. Then we have Michael Harvey Racing, another huge team. Uh, Smart Racing and then Red Dragon Racing as well. A new team as well as a um, relatively new, um, as in second year, Red Red Dragon Racing, which is their... But this is a new car because it was a one-car team last season, two-car team this season. So all six of these drivers I look to be strong. Personally... Who I see making it in, James Richardson and Chester Harvey, the experience factor there. I think those will be the two who make it in in advance. The 08 of Cody Smart might be a second because he knows how that 4 is going to hand. Or he knew he used to drive the 12 for DW. Different body, so actually I don't know if he'll know. Green flag and Cody's going to spin the tires. Calm start for the most part. 35 Chester's going to lead lap one way out front. We saw the 23 easily win his duel after Dejon Weeks slowed down the rest of the field. So, will we see that this race? I don't know. That will be if we get a wreck and car is able to continue. Uh, we still don't have an update on Dejon Weeks. We will before the 500, though, comes around. See if he'll have to go to a backup car. If not, he'll probably only start about four or five spots ahead, but his car will probably be damaged. But we're here now. The six this is a rookie this year. Chase Marks replacing um, James Richardson. The six has visited Victory Lane one time, uh, which was Homestead last season. So it is the most current winning team, if that makes sense. The most recent like team winner here trying to build momentum. It's a different driver, but same team. So we'll see how that works as he's going for the race lead. That's a rookie under the 35 of Chester Harvey. Who's making his third season or second and a half season, but 
Will Collins is third. We're not full wide in the back, are we? No, we're not. So we're doing good. Everyone's still just a racing. Lap three at 32. You see John Arndt and Johnny Garner have gotten up there. His, their teammate on um, the 24 of JT Bryant got involved in a wreck earlier. And his duel, and he was all by himself in his duel. And this has the three AS Racing teammates. Three of them. One is a part-timer this year, but three of the AS Racing teammates are in this duel. So we'll see how that works. And Chester was able to hold on to the lead as the six was inside, but the outside lanes are so strong on the um, tri trial vault. You see John Art now behind Chester. He'll go to the inside. Can he get a run here? They don't. No one really has help right behind them. So this is just about car power, and I think John might have him, but the 35 is going to have the outside for the backstretch unless the 05 can clear him. And the 35 is about to get a huge push from the 6 who just moves up. Gives him that bubble of air. Gives the 35 a huge push. The 05 is not going to be able to clear him. The 35 clears the 05. 35 back out front. And now the field is one pack once again. You see Philip Goldberg on the inside on that 25. This is his first race back since Season 2 when he was driving the 21 car. And he was relieved of that. And Dejan came out from season um he was not planning to race anymore but he uh came out of his mini retirement i guess because he only raced for one season owned the team didn't want to race um philip was not putting up the numbers in the 21 so dejon took over the 21 and since then dejon just stayed in the 21 you see the as racing teammates working together on the inside or in the middle and then the 05 goes to the outside so he can pop to the inside and he doesn't. He can't bump to the inside like I thought he was going to try to make the move. Can't get it done. 35 out front, but now he's pulling the inside lane, which has Cat Tellier behind him. We'll see how this does. Chester Harvey still out front. The highest running uncharted car. The second highest one, it looks like. I believe it's Travis. No, it's going to be actually the four of Lucas Tran. So we'll see. How this officially goes, you see the 80 on the inside there, 35 is going to cut him off. That's Jesse Turner. He's won at Daytona before, the 500 in Season 2. So, You see the 20 of Zednik Price is chilling in the back as well as his teammate did in his duel. Uh, that was the 22 of Alexander Rowe who actually ended up going up and over. Now you see the 80 get a huge run. Here comes Jesse Turner for the race lead under the 35. Uh, but the 35's got the 70 right behind him. I don't think the 80's... I think the 80 will be able to lead this lap, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold the 35 off through the tri-oval. And you see the 80's actually got a pretty decent lead. Can he hold it? I think he will. Jesse Turner out front here at Daytona. New body for these drivers for this team. This team is a Toyota now instead of a Pontiac. Oh, sorry if that froze. And we got Fords on the inside. Chevy's on the inside. 35 still outside. Chester now is not a newbie at all. He knows what it's like. He's raced in some restricted plate races. So it wasn't any question him being out front. He's just uncharted because Michael said Chester is one of the best drivers on the team. And they thought Michael needed the charter over Chester Harvey. And Chester's proven why. He is out front right now. Running second now, but... Still doing a great job in this 35 machine. You got the 05 and the 25 teammates one season ago. These numbers were, but now the 25 is part of a new team. Fernand Gabalt making his last ever dual start, retiring after this season announced earlier uh, before Daytona Speed Weeks. We got movement up here. Cat Tellier under the 35. Going to have a run with the 80. And I believe the 35 might fall back to third. Try to fall in between Cat and Phillip. Or Ferdinand if he can. Or Phillip. Phillip's back here. Phillip's doing a great job in his first race back. You see Garrett jump to the middle lane. Thought that might have been a trouble spot. But it's not. And the 80 is still out front. Thirty-five makes a move to the inside. 80's got no help. Thirty-five's got a little help. Here comes Chester Harvey back to the front with help from the 70. And yeah, you see Zenik really losing the draft now. Not really losing it, but still in the back, just like his teammate did in duel one. 
So mobile want so price mobile racing. Not sure what they play. Look at the eighty. He's trying to cut low. The thirty five is going to block him. Great battle for the lead. Chester Harvey and Jesse Turner. Chester's trying to make the five hundred. Jesse's already locked in. If he wrecks, he'll just go to a backup. The thirty five knows he cannot wreck. You got Ferdinand on the inside. Behind him is Rookie of the Year, Alex Miller from last season. Actually, Red Dragon Racing was a two-car team last season. As I'm sitting here thinking, I said earlier, I think I said they expanded this season. There are two-car teams, so my apologies to them. And you see Ferdinand now up here giving a huge push to the 80. Ferdinand now going to go three wide. Three wide at the line. It's going to be Jesse at the line, but Ferdinand is on the inside. Can the 92 or the 97 catch them? Because right now the outside lane is getting the push. And Ferdinand is going to go three wide to the inside. He is trying to take the race lead in his final duel. Highest running uncharted cars right now are the 35 and it looks like the 95. Travis Miller and Chester Harvey, I believe, would be the highest uncharted cars right now. For the 48-36. Where's the other one? Oh, I know I didn't forget who it was. Oh, the 08, who's right there on the inside, or middle lane. So yeah, so 35, great push on the outside, back to the race lead, block of the 80, 80 goes low, here comes Jesse Turner once again, we got a battle, this 80 car and the 35 definitely putting on a show for the fans here, taking the lead back and forth, and the 35 trying to get the 70 to hop down, Cat doesn't have enough room, 35 is going to be all alone, 80 clearly out front now, he'll clear the 35, and Ferdinand's up here, Ferdinand's battling, Ferdinand would love to get a win in his final duel. You see now Alex Miller, last year's rookie on the inside, trying to make some room. He's got Griffin Lynn. Griffin Lynn in his first full-time ride. He shared the 925 last season and signed to Scott Incorporated. Now you see Ferdinand following the 80. Oh, I thought a car was on the apron. Um, now, Ferdinand giving a huge push to Jesse Turner. They are way out front now, ahead of the pack. This one's kind of more calm than the other one. More battling up front. The 35 and 80 who put on a great show for like the first part. Sorry if you hear my phone. Um, now, the 14's on the inside. His teammate, Phillips, stuck on the high outside. See the 48 in the back. Moving lanes. 35 getting a push. He'll go up to third now. Get a huge push. He'll try to catch the 63 and 80. And now it's a three car breakaway in the front. All three of them victors here in the Cup Series. And the 70 is finally going to get to the inside. Now the 14 can go up and get his teammate Phillip. 35 70 working together once again. Under the 63 of Ferdinand. Ferdinand sitting duck on the outside. He'll start to fall back here. Now 70 is actually going to dish the 35. You see the 14 move up. Get the 25. 14 goes down. Three wide for second. 80 is out front. Jesse Turner is leading us. And now we're starting to single file. And look at Jack Forkins out here. Jack is moving all around. We got movement all over the racetrack. Here comes... Sorry. Griffin Lynn on the inside. 35 to the inside. Giving a push from the 70. 80 is a sitting duck. Here comes Je uh, Chester Harvey once again. Sorry, guys. It is getting exciting. Almost halfway. We saw the wreck this lap last race on uh, duel number one. Will we see a wreck in this one? I don't know. This one's more calm. Just a lot more passing. These three out front been dominating. 35 has pretty much got no issue. If he makes the 500, he will definitely be a competitor, especially as an uncharted car. That is huge. Next time I will be halfway. You see Aiden Shepard in the middle, the other Red Bull car. He's trying to get up to his teammate. And look at Emmanuel Hartnett change lanes. 
The 80 is on the outside trying to get a run around the 35. I don't know if he'll be able to. And 63, 39's up here. You see the 70's falling back. The 80's starting to fall back. And now it's the 35 clearly out front. And the 39 of Keith Batson's coming. And you see the 20 finally got on the inside. He made some passes. And the 20's now in the middle of the pack where he wants to be. The 48 changing lanes. Looks like he might be falling back. And the 35's out front. Chester Harvey with a super strong car here at Daytona. I think Michael Harvey made a good decision there to have Michael be the charter car and Chester be the unchartered for this team. And you see Chris Dodd on the far inside. He's making his way to back to the front. James Richardson right now, second highest running unchartered car. But right behind him, he does have the four of Lucas Tran. And Lucas is a rookie of the Cup Series trying to make his first ever race. 35 does such a good job going from bottom to high and then back to the bottom. Now the 8 car's got a huge run. Not enough, though, to block the 36. And the 8's just... Look at Garrett Sidnor just on the back bumper. The 8 going to move the 8 out, out the way. The 8 is going to jump in front of Keith Batson. And now Chris Dodd with the crossover. Gets a push from the 16. The 16's teammate, James, on the inside. GMS Racing out front. Pushing the 8 and the 35. Who's got a better push? It looks like the inside, but the out, the far outside with Keith Batson looks like they got a little run. But it's going to be Chris Dodd out front now. And now the 35-36 side by side. These two drivers trying to make it into the 500. Eight now out front. Here comes the 36. Now be careful here because you see the 35 is on the outside, but the four is on the inside. They're side by side technically because they're three wide. But where they would cross the line if this was the last lap would be interesting to see who how who would finish ahead of the other to make it into the 500. 35 huge push down the back straight. He can clear all of them. 35 out front once again. Three uncharted cars on the inside row now. The 35 just such a strong car on the straightaways. Look how far out he is. I don't think all these guys are going to be showing what they have for the 500. They're going to be showing what they got, kind of, but not showing everything because they kind of want to hide it with the 35 way out front. And the middle lane starting to fall back a lot now. It looks like Keith will try to jump down, try to work his way down, maybe all the way down to the inside. I don't think he'll be able to. He'll jump back to the outside. Now he'll get a huge run, huge push. By yeah, Ferdinand Gabba. And here comes Keith Batson. Maybe to the lead. He's got no help as Ferdinand's pushing the 35. And Ferdinand's going to come down as well. Ferdinand can come down all the way to the bottom. He will. He'll leave the 35. And the 39-63 work together to get from the high line to the low line. And now the 39 goes up high. 63 down low. And we're side by side. And the middle lane's almost completely gone now here at Daytona. It is the outside and inside it looks like. Now the 36 and the... 63 move out. 63 moves back down. 36 is going to get passed by the 4. Not smart. Close. Good of an idea that is for James Richardson. James needs to finish ahead of that 4 car who's landing on his inside. But now the 36 did get in front of a teammate uh, and owner Garrett Sonor. So I think uh, James Richardson knows what he's doing. But you see Don. That's not Don Smallwood. It is Lucas Tran in the car this week. Gets a huge push, and now he's up to second. He's way out in front of the 36, and now look at that. Chester Harvey could miss the 500 if it finished like this because the 36 and 4 are in front of him. And the 08's even in front of him. Now here comes Cody Smart, another player in this. The 35 has not been in traffic, and this is the first time all race he's been in traffic. And now the 4's going to the lead, and the 20 car's up here. That's Zednik Price who's been in the back all race. The 35 is falling back. He needs to get back to the inside somehow to try to hold off or get a huge run down the back stretch. He's this is the first time he's really behind a car, behind multiple cars. He he would be okay now, but the 08 is a coming, and the 08's got the 95, not too uh, a car behind it, two cars behind him. The 39 gets down now. Can the 35 somehow get down? Chester Harvey needs to finish ahead of just. Um, he can only let one car finish ahead of him. I think the 
08 beat him to the line there. He did. So that would have put the 08 and the 4 and the 500. And the 35 would have been out by just that much. Now James is starting to fall back. The 35 on the outside has got help with the 36. Almost go three wide. The 6 was looking. He's not going to make it. We got 10 laps to go here at Daytona. Things are heating up. Zenik Price is going to the lead. He's trying to get around the 63 of Fernand Gabo. He's making his last dual star. I know I've said that several times, but it's hard to believe he's retiring this year. The 39 is going to get a huge push by the 35. They're going to go down. They're going to block the 20. The 08 is blocked as well. The 35 on the outside. He'll be on the outside open car now where he wants to be. 39, 7, 63, way out front. Now the 35 can come down. He'll get, oh, he'll, he'll, he'll come all the way down. 35 back out in front of the uncharted cars. The 08 is the second one. And 39 side drafting, trying to get around the 63 car. 60, the 36 jumps to the outside. He saw how that worked for the six. For the 35, and 35 is trying to go to the lead, trying to pass the 39 on the far inside by himself. The 8 is going to get down there. That's going to be a huge push. The 80 is back in condition. This outside lane is working late here. Griffin Lynn to the in middle. Chester Harvey once again to the front from the top lane. How incredible is that? Normally when we see, come here, it's if you're in the top lane, you got to fall all the way to the back and work your way through the uh, bottom lane. But this 35 was four cars back on the top lane and worked his way down. He'll be on the outside once again. Chris Dodd on the inside. That 08 right there. The 95 not too far back. The 36 has fallen back though. That's an uncharted car. The other uncharted car is right here. The 4 car. So right now it's a battle between the 08 and the 35. And then the next charter car is the 90. Uncharted car is the 95 on the inside. Three cars back. So two cars behind the 08. And Chris Dodd's going to be able to block. No, he's not. Huge run by Keith Batson. 35 splits the 8 card. The 8's going to be stuck in the middle. Excuse me. Keith Batson at the line. Keith will lead that lap. the 08 now is out front now you gotta be careful the 35 is starting to fall back again and he doesn't want to get side by side with the 95 because the 95 beat him at the line just by that much he could get him out here comes the 14 and the 08 three wide for the race lead here we go Cody Smart started his own team and he is showing why he did Jack Porkins in the middle. Jack trying to get something late going here. He know he is so happy he was chartered this season. And the 35 is really falling back now. Now it's getting intense. He is four cars back. The 4, the 08, and 95 all in front of Chester Harvey. Chester's got such a good car. It would be a shame if he missed it. Sorry if it froze. Chester's got to find a way to get back in front of these drivers because now three of them are... Two of them are in front of him, the 4 and the 08. The 95 is almost in front of him, side by side, as of right now. And Ferdinand's falling back late here. But it's Griffin Lynn and Jack Porkins racing for the lead at the line. I think it's going to be Griffin Lynn on the outside. Griffin Lynn will lead that lap. The 08 and 4 are looking good now. 35 is not. And that is big because the 35 has dominated this duel. 14 has cleared the 10. Is he going to jump down? He will. 39 goes with him. That, that helps the 35 big time there. That really does. The 39 and 14, huge push by the 39. Look at the 14 go. The 35, those on the outside. The 08. It comes up. He'll, he'll, he's actually going to get in front of him. The 08 is going to be in the middle now. That's going to change the 95's running position to closer to the front. Battle for the lead. Battle for who makes the race. The 4 is ahead. The 95 now is the highest running on Charter Car. He'll jump to the middle, though. Not sure how smart of an idea that is. He'll be in front of the 4 car. Here comes Daniel Olsen in the 48. 
The sixth car, that is uh, Chase Marks. We saw a rookie win the first duel. Can a rookie win the second one? John Arndt's up here late, but it is Griffin Lynn out front in the 14. Racing for Scott Incorporated Racing. And the four's gonna, four and the 95 are on the outside. The four's trying to look up to the inside of the 95. Because here comes the 48. He know the And the 36, James Richardson just can't do nothing in the back. 14's blocking all three lanes. Great job by him. Here's Aiden Shepard in the 83. Beautiful scheme. And charted this season. So The 08 moves back down to the middle. The 39's clear. No, he's not. The 05's actually going to give a run. The 14 clears him. The 4 and 08 are working together. The 8 looks like he was trying to come down. The 10, Jack Forkins trying to get in front of his teammate Daniel that's not Daniel. Yeah, Daniel Maxwell. 35 is slipping late here. John Arndt is not going to leave that lap. Two laps to go here at Daytona. Who makes it in the 500? Right now, it looks like it's Lucas Tran and the 08 car. Actually. Oh, look at this. It's getting real tight. But the 48's up here late now. And the 05 just took the lead. Pushed the 14 way up high. 14 lost momentum. And John Arndt now is playing the Pied Piper Daytona, blocking all three lanes. But the 48's up here. That, that's Mr. Daniel Olsen, who wasn't even scheduled to be running at Daytona. Wasn't even scheduled to be running at all this season. Coming to the white flag for John Arndt. He's way out front, but how good of a thing is that? He's got, he's got a lot of good drivers right there. He's got his teammate Daniel Olsen. Daniel Olsen to the inside. Is Daniel going to push his owner and teammate to the victory? I'm not sure. White flag for John Arndt. Daniel Olsen and Johnny Gardner. Three of them on the inside. Garrett said Noah trying to make a run. The 4 is in. The 48 is in. I don't think anyone can beat the 4. There's no... I think it's going to be the 4 and the 48 racing in late here. Chester's falling all the way back trying to make something happen. He's going to need luck right here. The 05's out front. Garrett to the inside. Who's going to win it? Aiden Shepard as well. He's going to help Garrett. That's going to leave the 05 as a sitting duck. The 48 is in front of the 4. He blocked the 4, blocked the 08. That's going to allow the 4. And it's going to be Garrett Sidnor off for turn 1. No, here comes Aiden Shepard. Aiden Shepard to the inside. I don't think it will be enough. 05 to the outside. And it will be Garrett Sidnor winning duel number 2. And Garrett, that's not his first win. That's his second win ever here at Daytona. He did win the 100 subscriber special. And Johnny came late. Not enough. But it looks like the first... It is complete. The first Uncharted car, I believe, is Daniel Olsen. And the next one will be Lucas Tran. We'll go back. We're going to view it. So the 48 across the line. Oops. There's the 48. And there's the 4. There's the 95. Racing at the end there. Oops. At the line, it was that close. The 4 barely beat the 95. How? So Travis is out. It is going to be the 4. And look how close to the finish that was. That was a pretty good finish. He did not know who was going to win until the end. I feel bad for the 35 Chester Harvey. who ended up finishing 22nd with bad luck at the very end. Just falling all the way back. He will not be in the 500. It's going to be Mr. Daniel Olsen and Lucas Tran in the 500. So we know who the 500 is. Your lineups are coming up soon. Uh, front row of JJ Motorsports. Then it's going to be the 23 of Scott Roush and Garrett Sonor. And those, pretty much all we know for now. We'll see it um, in a second. Thank you guys for watching. 500 will be out very, very soon. Though.